Joshua Klein is on the other end of our AT&T line. We came to know about him a couple of days ago when he went into the a law office in Detroit and read a statement and answered a few questions about his time working with State Representative Cindy Gamrat and State Representative Todd Corser more specifically. And he decided to come forward and talk about what an unsatisfying experience that was. Let's put it that way. Welcome to the program, Joshua. How are you guys doing today? You resigned from the position. What was your title? Uh, legislative director inside the office. I think legislative aide or whatever they have is a standard um, within the state of Michigan. And you decided to resign when? Uh, April 14th. And then you decided to come forward with the announcement now? Yes. Why did you wait so long? Um, mostly because, you know, the st- as you guys have pretty much become well aware, the stories have become pretty crazy. And um, no one would ever have believed, and I don't think some people are, I mean, it's just so nuts that, you know, when you come out as a staffer like that, uh, you, you get discredited as just a disgruntled former staffer. But I think once people knew the truth, you know, I've been sitting here since April not being able to say really anything, and I felt that the, the supervisors of both districts, the voters, they deserve to know the truth, that the affair was really affecting the day-to-day operations, and I felt that they weren't getting, you know, adequate representation in either district, uh, basically, so almost from day one. But you went to Speaker Cotter to tell him this before you resigned or not? Uh, well, I went to uh, the, the members of the Speaker's office. Um, you know, when I, when I quit, I, I had, we had went previously to them, um, so they were kind of aware of what, what had been happening. 